What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to another Beastly Indie. This is going to be a little bit different than uh, pretty much all my videos. This is something that I guess I want to know. Uh, I want to know the flavor of the world, the flavor of life. Who is your favorite musician? Now think hard about this. A lot of people out there have tons and tons of musicians, rappers, singers, artists that they love. But if you could only have one, who would they be and why? Now, for me, this begs many questions in my mind. What genre is the most important to me? I grew up in a very, very diverse household. And uh, my mother, she grew up, she, I grew up in the 80s. So I grew up listening to soft rock around my mom. I'm talking about real soft rock. Hall & Oates, The Eagles, Madonna, stuff like that. Now, my dad's the total opposite of my mom. So when I was with my dad, I was listening to Motown. Smokey Robinson, The Supremes, Temptations, Marvin Gaye, Curtis Mayfield, right? So those are two completely different things. My mom is total soft rock, listening to Art, uh, Heart and Aha, and just crazy stuff. And my dad was the opposite. So I enjoy all that music. It's really, really weird. I'm just a, a strange person. I can sing music from the 80s, Phil Collins. I can bust out, you know, some music from the other side of the fence, too. Now, as an adult, I got into my own thing, and of course, hip-hop came onto the scene. And for me, you know, of course, I'm old enough, I really, really enjoyed Pac when he was around, enjoyed Biggie. If you ask me, of the two, I think probably Biggie was a better lyricist, but I enjoyed Pac's music better, right? Uh, and I know that's going to create all kinds of wars out there. All, and, and it really meant a lot to me growing up, you know, finding myself, finding my niche in life, and what made me feel good as an individual, as far as music. Uh, and all that music really, really means a lot to me. Later in my life, you know, in my late 20s, I really got into conscious hip hop. I started listening to Joe Buttons, listening to Lupe Fiasco. Lupe is one of my favorite artists of all time. And when I met my wife, she, he was her favorite artist. And I, was, I thought she was kidding. And then she started reciting rhymes with me. We sat together and recited rhymes together. I was like, holy shit, this is the most perfect chick I ever met. And that's crazy, but it's true. We, we both love Lupe Fiasco. And later on, uh, it kind of got into more Kendrick Lamar, you know, um, uh, J. Cole, that kind of music. I don't listen to this new crap. I'm sorry. I don't listen to things like Young Thug. These men who want to wear dresses on stage and wear lipstick and, and fingernails to try to confuse young children. Nah, I'm not into that. I'm not into the, the bubblegum music that just gets recycled every other week. Not into Chris Brown, that kind of stuff. No. Not into Usher. Nah. So I'm more into conscious hip-hop. Um, older music as far as soft rock. Uh, Motown. Soul music. And, uh, of course, Pac and Biggie. Right? And that's a lot of music to really think about. You guys could probably name uh, an artist, and I would know songs by them because of all the music I grew up listening to. But all the stuff that I just named, all of it means so much to me. Uh, and if I had to pick one artist or one genre, it would be one that I, I didn't even name. It would be the one that got me through probably the toughest time in my life and the sweetest voice I've ever heard. Now, you, you're probably wondering, what the hell are you talking about, Beastly? The, the voice is of a female. And the first time I ever heard her voice was actually in a video game. What video game might I be speaking about? Have you guys ever played Kingdom Hearts? Have you? Oh, you have. Now, there's a, a song in Kingdom Hearts called Hikari in Japanese, but it's called Simple and Clean in English. And the artist's name is Yutada Hikaru. And, or uh, Hiki is what they call her in Japan. Uh, she's an amazing, amazing artist. Uh, and I've listened to all of her albums, and every album she's ever released in Japan has been totally amazing. Deep River, Ultra Blue, Heart Station, insanely good music. Uh, and I'm a huge fan of hers. I actually drunkenly got a tattoo of her face on my arm before. Yeah, so that happened. Um, but she, her music got me through probably the toughest time of my adult life. Uh, going through separation watching your family structure change with your children and stuff. And I was on my own and listening to Utada. And she kept me feeling good and kept me going to work and kept me looking toward the sun. And her voice is the voice of an angel. Now, recently she's kind of retired, uh, speculating on coming back to the music scene. 
But for me, if I had to pick my favorite musician, my favorite artist of all time, that means the most to me, it would be Yutari Hikaru. Japanese artist. She's a very, very talented artist. If you guys have not heard any of her music, I implore you to go check it out. Go to YouTube. Listen to uh, the uh, Deep River album. It's called Deep River. And her music is incredible. Uh, that And follow that up with Ultra Blue. And then you can just sink into Heart Station after that. She's been singing for a very long time. She's an incredibly talented young lady. Her mother committed suicide. Uh, I think in 2014, she jumped from a building, which seems to happen over there quite a bit. Um, and it was really unfortunate. But after that, Utah kind of uh, sank into the background and uh, removed herself from the limelight. She would be considered Japanese... Uh, she sold. She's the highest-selling Japanese artist of all time. Okay, and this was back in 20. I want to say 2012 when that was totally accurate. I don't know if it's still accurate. I don't know if they've had any Japanese artists that have outsold her. But she is the biggest thing in Japan. If you guys like Japanese music, check it out, and definitely let me know in the comment section what is your favorite music. Do you listen to hip hop? Do you listen to country? Do you listen to Shania Twain? Do you listen to uh, Garth Brooks? Do you listen to Biggie? Do you listen to Pop? You know, do you listen to Kendrick Lamar? Do you listen to Kanye West? Jay Z? Do you listen to Most Depp? Who do you listen to? And, and guess what? I know all this crap. I could probably sing Free Bird right now, Leonard Skinner. I know all this music. It's all somehow inside this big black guy. And it's a really weird thing, but it's totally awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up and show support for the Beastly Gamer channel. And definitely, definitely subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this indie. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.